like I said, when I first started competing, I was playing 10 hours a day and that's all I thought about. You was gaming 10 hours a day, dog. See, for, until I was making money, it might have been a little bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you got like an abnormal amount of skill sets for like one human being? Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, you a robot. Bro. Let you do your thing. You got a lot of conspiracies up there. I, I, I'm working on myself. 2020, I'm trying to... Yeah. So today, we are at Indian Ridge Country Club to interview somebody I consider a hero, Nate Hill. You may be asking, why do you consider him a hero? Well, because he's a golfer that made a bunch of money playing video games. Something my parents told me wasn't even possible. Kind of got me wondering what else they lied to me about. Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. My dog, like that. what's up, dog? How you doing, boss? Good to spend some time with you, Good man. Good to see you, man. You know, we out here at the beautiful Indian Ridge Country Club. And it is beautiful. It is beautiful. And what I noticed is the better the guests I get, the better the course that we get to film these at. So I just want to thank you for doing your part. For bringing the A-plus gas game. A-plus course game. You brought the A-plus, okay, hell yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I'm gonna grab me a club real quick, but. Let's see what you got. It's just inspiring being here with you, bro, because you everything that a lot of people told me that I couldn't be. You know what I mean? Not you, really, what do you mean? I mean, like, you know, you like, I heard that you like sing and songwrite and. I mean, you know, you a, a model. little bit. You know, you a, you a golfer, you a, Good looking white man in America, which I heard got his privileges. I can't confirm nor deny. But more importantly, bro, you a professional gamer, dog. Yes, sir. And my parents always told me that, turn that damn game off. That ain't gonna get you nowhere in this lifetime. And here you are. Yeah, my parents oh. were kind of saying the same, the same thing. What you say to your parents to you just kind of combat the, the noise that they was making? Uh, luckily, my mom was pretty chill with letting us play. Uh -huh. You know, kept, it, kept us occupied. And we got out enough, too. We were playing sports all the time, too. So, you know, there's a healthy balance yeah. between it. And I don't know. I kind of just said, Mom, I'm really good at this. Uh, I want to see what happens. And, you know. And she just went with it. She, luckily, she was pretty supportive. Yeah. That's, that's nuts. Yeah. I think that's a lesson to my parents as well. Like, you know, I just want them to understand the opportunities that they missed up on by not letting me you explore think, certain things. Do you think that uh, you could have... If, if your parents were supporting you a little bit, it was a model, it was gamer, that was your path? Not model. Like you- Maybe. You kind of universally good looking. I don't really have that going for me. I appeal to a very niche audience uh, on the aesthetic side, you know what I mean? But I definitely think that I had a future in gaming. You know, I've like got some quick thumbs and stuff oh, yeah. like that. You know, people tell me. But look, as a gamer, I mean, you a legend, but if you had to compare yourself to a golfer for some of my non-gaming viewers out here, who would you say you are on the PGA Tour? I mean, if, so, I'm not, I can't say Tiger, obviously, he's the, but. I like the humility. This dude, you just, yeah, yeah. you a universally good dude. I like that. <laughs> no, no, no. You going places It's really the cameras are on, the cameras are on. <laughs> I would have to say, some, someone like Jason Day. Now, and I just realized, now that you said that, there's a couple things I got in common with him. One, he struggles with vertigo, which is like, kind of a rare thing. Yeah. And that's like one of my biggest weaknesses is, is that. Struggling and, with vertigo. Yeah, you know what that you know what that is? Where like you'll wake up just incredibly dizzy and you can't function, you can't do anything for like days. He he's had that problem where he's had to like drop out of tournaments and stuff. But aside from that, you know, Jason Day was like he was real hot for a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like su super hot, top of his game, winning all these tournaments. And that's kind of how I started, right? I started off really, really hot. Um, back when the tournaments had like serious money yeah back when i was like full full engaged in Fortnite, and, you know 10 hours a day type stuff Damn. and since you know he, he's uh he's still hanging around yeah he's still doing well he's still turning it up when he needs exactly to. yeah go 100%. spank the little kids let them know what's up you know to steal my house type stuff exactly so that's the energy you bring that's my energy i like that i like that yeah so talk to me about like if i was considering being a professional gamer like, what's, what's the skill set that I really need? You know what I mean? I think that there's some, like, intangibles that people don't talk about that sure. go into gaming at a high level. But what's, you know, outside of my quick thumbs, they are Outside of your quick, quick, quick yeah. thumbs, yeah. And they strong, too. I think we, sh we might be able to have, like, a thumb wrestling contest just to see if, you <laughs> See, know that, I mean? that you will win. <laughs> um, I mean, like you said, there's intangibles. Uh, 
I compare it a lot to professional sports a lot of the time. Obviously, one is, I don't know actually, one, one, one's harder to do, but there's still like a very limited space for high level gamers or streamers, right? Yeah. So yeah, a lot of us are, are, are like naturally talented, but it's the ones that are like super passionate mm. and the ones that put the effort in are the ones that end up rising to the top. Yeah. Like I said, when I first started competing, I was playing 10 hours a day and that's all I thought about. Yeah. Right? So back then, like, that's what made me the best. That's crazy. Yeah. You was gaming 10 hours a day, dog. Yeah, bro. I was, see, at, for until I was making money, it might have been a little bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I was, hey, that's the way the world yeah. works, dog. Right. Everything a problem until you start getting paid. Exactly. <laughs> I was out there, like, skipping castings, like, <laughs> I have to play this. I have to play this. Yeah. But hey, man, worked out. Let me see you strike this one. So the golf game is solid. That was a little pulley, but it, it worked. Oh, you complain over shots like that. Yeah, I mean, you my, you, you my kind of guy. I mean, but, but as far as like from an accomplishment level on the gaming side, what's like your biggest accomplishment? Um, your biggest, like the thing that you're most proud of that you've done in your gaming career? In my gaming career, that's, I think my, fav like my favorite gaming moment was uh, probably 2018 or so. It was like the first biggest Fortnite tournament ever. The first prize was like 300K or something yeah. back when it was like just starting. And that was when I initially got signed to FaZe and started like kind of my rise. And that was my first ever LAN tournament really. So going there, I had all this, a little bit of hype behind me, yeah. but then I followed up that hype with like a top three finish, top yeah. four finish. And just the feeling back then was just special. So like I always remember that moment. Equate that to golf terms for me. What so, was that? What's that? Uh, what's that? The equivalent of uh, that? The golf so world? that's like, that's like getting top four of the Masters. <sighs> yeah. So it's like that. If that's your first <laughs> Masters, you go in, you just slay in front of everybody. Yeah. It's the same thing. My boy. Obviously not the same thing. The prize pool's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no green jacket, but. I mean, I just said though, you probably could have bought you a couple green jackets, with, with <laughs> what, you, what you took away from that. Probably. But like you know, as I look at the gaming landscape, man, you know, I think that. I think that something that I'm always curious about, I spend a lot of time with the youth mm -hmm. and, and I want them to continue to be like active and well-rounded. Right. As I look at you, like you a gamer, but you do a lot more stuff. Sure. You know what I mean? You spend time outside, you play sports, you know, you got all these other things going. What's your message to kids that may be getting too deep into it and not living like a comprehensive childhood? Yeah. I mean, that's, that is a, definitely a problem. I see, you know, a lot of these kids, especially playing like Fortnite games that are, uh, so time consuming. Yeah. Like they'll go to school and then just straight to the games and nothing else. Right. Like you said, but um, I think that there's something really important to getting outside and playing sports and like developing, like especially team sports Yeah. as a kid, like learning how to communicate with other people, uh, dealing with adversity, dealing with loss. Mm -hmm. It's a super like structuring thing as a, as a kid. Yeah. So I, I'm 100% for that. Yeah, help you bond, help you, yeah. you know, form all of these social skills that you need to just kind of get through normal everyday life. You know, I, I yeah. do think that you miss out on some of those things by, you know, even though it can be lucrative now, mm -hmm. I still think that there's something to encouraging kids to be more well-rounded uh, in that regard, you know. And that goes the same way for sports. Like, I think that, like, as an athlete, you shouldn't just be all in your sport and yeah. ignoring technology and the things that are happening on the technology side because... Those are the things that's gonna control, you know, the world mm -hmm. and, and kind of, you know, move the world forward. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of sports guys coming into our world now too. So, might as well gamers coming into their world, right? Who, who your favorite person that you done game with, stream with? I can't say a favorite. Okay, give me some of the notables then. Uh, some of the notables, we got like Kevin De Bruyne, a soccer player. Yeah. Uh, Bryce Harper, yep. baseball player, he's from Philly as well. Uh -huh. so that's my guy. Uh, Trey Turner now is also in the Phillies. Another guy. So yeah, the, the list goes on. There's yeah. tons of football players, ba baseball players that are playing. You know, so much downtime, I guess. Exactly. After, That's, yeah. uh, my got one of my good boys, uh, Aaron Hicks, that play for the Yankees. Yeah. Bro, all he do is baseball, golf, game. That's it. Baseball, golf, game. Yeah, yeah. Now he got some kids and stuff like that. He's sure. trying to figure out a way to fit them in, but it's yeah. still like you know, they on the low end of With the. With the 162 game schedule. <laughs> Baseball's crazy, man. It is. Yeah. Hey, but I had this crazy theory, dog. Okay. I, I want you to vet it. Let's hear you it. Just, you just tell me what's up. I think that gamers are going to, like, save the world in the future. 
<laughs> what, like some some Ready Player One type stuff where we have to like take on a boss or what? What's the, Bro, what's the theory? Bro, I just really think that like all wars are gonna be oh, fought. Okay. Like with these remote control i mean just hear me out bro. yeah no like, I, i'm listening i was having a weird night the other night and i was just thinking about this like completely sober night <laughs> completely sober <laughs> dog it's just it's just me in my own head yeah but like i think that we're gonna start to spend all of this all of this military money that we spending bro we gonna make these things these robots or whatever you know you're scaring and, me and people like you are gonna control them yeah and you gonna fortnite the shit out of some other thing you know what i mean then koreans about to take over the world then I just saw that by 2025, we're supposed to be at war with China or something like that. <laughs> Who they going to call, dog? True. I mean, I mean, of course, they could call it, you know, call it Green Berets and all of that stuff in. But they bro, won't know. Why not just call you? Exactly. Give you a robot. Bro. Let you do your thing. I don't even want to think about this. <laughs> it's a scary stuff. <laughs> but if you got that call, would you step up and do what you needed to do? For, for uh, serve my country. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I think. Gary <laughs> America, <was> baby. <laughs> you a hero, dog. You a hero. I'm a hero. <laughs> You're going to be a hero. Yeah, one day. Hey. I'm here to some, you know. There's probably like three people out there. But talk to me about how golf entered the picture, man. Like, as I look at your swing, I'm listening to the compression sounds. You obviously got some game. Like, um, when, did, when did the the passion for golf start? Golf started, like, 11th grade. Yeah. Um, just, it was, like, me and my older brother's friends, we just, like, started playing randomly. And I don't know, the first, first day we were out there, I was hacking up the place. Of course you were. Shooting like 116, you know? It's crazy that you even counted at that time. Right, I know, I shouldn't have been counting. Well, kudos to you, but, man. <laughs> it was still fun, though. Yeah. And from there, I started, we started playing so much over the summer. Uh, I forget why we had, like, expendable, like, 20 bucks every now and then. Yeah. Um, but then, eventually, I, I joined the golf team the next year after playing all that summer. So this is in high school still? High school. Yeah. yeah so so then, you on your high school golf team? Yeah, then those two years, I played high school golf. Um, and I, I pretty much got into that just because if you play high school golf, you sneak on all the country clubs. Yep. So you get to play all the nice courses. You resourceful. Yeah. You a hustler. I'm a hustler. A little I like bit. That. So now you get into high school golf. Yeah. So, I mean, you're good enough to make the team at this point. Yeah, I was, I was pretty decent back then. Where is um, No fade. Bro, this is this is better than pretty decent. So then tell me, like, so what? why not just keep going with golf? Why not? Did you want to go play college golf? I was going to go play college golf. Or, I didn't have a scholarship or nothing. Okay. But I was looking at it. I was thinking about going to like Coastal Carolina or like somewhere in Florida. Uh-huh. But yeah, long story, I got DQ'd from like the most important tournament, uh, like end of the year, like, I don't know if it's regionals or national, whatever, uh, states or whatever. Um, I shot well enough to qualify. I was yeah. like top 10 that so day. Like regional or sectional or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, one of those things, which would have got you to states or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I would have qualified for the next round. I shot, I don't know, I shot like 80 or something. It was a tough course, by the way. Um, but I got DQ'd, so. Explain the DQ story. It's a tough story, but, so, I don't know how, how, how vulgar you're allowed to be on here, but, so, I forget what hole it was, like 13 or something? I, was, I had like, explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Not kidding. And luckily there was, there was, you didn't see that coming. <laughs> there was a potty right there. Um, so, I was in this guy, so I was on the green, whatever, shoot, putting for birdie. And I, I was in my competitor's ball mark. Yeah. So I moved it over, you know, be a nice guy. Yeah. Then I had to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Had to take care of business. Yeah. Uh, I was in so there man, for like. You, you took a you took a mid hole shit. Mid hole shit. Mm. Yeah. Fun for birdie, bro. Too. That's I was, aggressive. I had to. Okay. And then I got done with my business, came back, sank the putt, and then just carried on with my day. Yeah. I was like, hell yeah, I'm yeah. feeling good now. Yeah. And then. Um, I see where this is going. Yeah, I did the did the qualification thing. Uh, eventually we got back, some people started talking upstairs, and I'm like talking to my friends, like, yeah, nice, bro, next round, whatever, I'm qualified. And then I, they come back and like sit me down, like, we gotta disqualify you. It's like, for what? And they said, for that. And I, I'm probably I'm 16, 17 years old, I don't really know what to say. Not that confident back then. So I was like, all right. I went, I know I went back and like spazzed on the kid who told on me too, because yeah. I, was, I was just seeing red. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they disqualified me for that. And then I, I go back and like look it up. It's a two shot penalty. Yeah. So I don't know what happened up in that room. So, I mean, basically what happens is if you sign for the score, like, and you submit it, then, and you didn't assess yourself the penalty, now it's like you submitted the wrong score, which is grounds for disqualification. Maybe but, that was it, yeah. 
my man's that let you do that, you know, he really an asshole. Right. Well, you know? he was a notorious asshole. Mm. And I was pissed when I got grouped with him. Everyone knows this kid mm. is a little rat. Do you think uh, any part of you ever think that maybe he put a laxative in, in something that you were drinking <laughs> and caused a diarrhea? Because that's what my mind goes to. Anytime that I'm I dealing with somebody that. that's a, a habitual, you know, asshole, I, I, I definitely assume that, that they're out to get me. Bro, I got a lot of haters, too, a lot of enemies. You, you got know? a lot of conspiracies up there. I, I, I'm working on myself, 2023. <laughs> yeah. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get rid of some of those things, but, you yeah. know. So, yeah, that was that, was that and then I chose a different path. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, though, man. I know. I could have changed my whole life. Just, I mean, just one incident. Yeah. You ever look that dude up and see what he's doing with himself? Uh, off the record, I think I think he was, like, he got caught, like, selling coke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so, a fitting conclusion for that his That is karma. <laughs> that is what happens. You snitch on me, somebody gonna snitch on you, I dog. did not snitch, though. I would never <laughs> snitch. I would never snitch. Hey, so, I mean, obviously you put the game down. <laughs> yeah. Moved like, on to better things. But this game is still very much a part well, of your life, I'm coming life, back. Dog. You I'm coming, coming back. back into it? I took, like, nine years off. Dang. Yeah, you know. I was nah, like, you only, like, 19 years old. How old are you, dog? 16, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 28. But tell me some of your goals now with the game. With the, um... Honestly, man, I'm just, I just, like, fell back in love with it. Yeah. You know? Um, I don't really know. I've been shooting a little bit of content here and there. You yeah. know? TikToks or a little bit of YouTube, whatever. Yep, yep, yep. Just for fun, you know? Um, I really don't know what my goals are with the game, bro. I guess my one is to be a scratch. Yeah. Where so you that, at right now? That's a little bit of ways. I'm, like, four or five. Four or five? Yeah. The way you hitting the ball, you a four or five? Yeah, what are you saying? I'm just saying, sure. like, you, you look like you, you hit the ball like a scratch golf ball already, I appreciate though. it. I mean, it sounds like you're trying to hustle me a little nah, bit. No, you want to go play? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not giving you no four shots. What do you play off scratch? I mean, I play off whatever you play off. Bro. Oh yeah, okay. Come on, relax okay. a little bit. So, what you think is kind of the barrier that's gonna keep you from getting the scratch? Though, what parts of your game you need to work on? Um, well, I think it's just time. For a while, bro, I couldn't drive the ball. I couldn't hit it off the ground. I was playing like only three wood. So it's the driver. But I figured that out. So okay. I'm getting better at that. Okay. Uh, what is the problem? I don't know. I guess like getting more, I'm just trying to get more shapes in. I'm too steep a lot of the time. Yeah. So I've just been kind of playing a consistent big fade. Yep. And that don't that don't that don't work everywhere. It doesn't work everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying to work in a draw, which kind of confuses the fade swing. So like, mm -hmm. you you got to get through that before I, I break the next. But threshold. I spend a lot of time, you know, not a lot of time. But I spend a decent amount of time with John Rahm, and you know, he commit to a shot shape, bro. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? And right, so I do swing. think that there's something to be said about, you know, I don't know if it looked like that. You look a dog, my boy. <laughs> But you know, commit to a shot shape, picking one side of the course. You know, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it is some room. You know, just think about that. that as you, that's what he does. Is just he's like, he I'm fader, gonna play bro. a fade. He a habitual fader all day today. Yes, bro, habitual yeah. fader. Yeah. Like he just set up, get it up, come through fast. Yep. You know what I mean? Okay, but his fade is power fade. It is. It is it a is. power fade. It's different. Yeah. When you see it in person. It's different. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. But you know, as you kind of look at the future of your life and you know now you picking back up golf and you kind of in this space with gaming like how are you splitting up your time now what do you what do you kind of focus on as far as the bigger pictures that's a tough question bro i don't really look at bigger picture a lot of the time i'm the same way yeah i just wanted to see how many things we had coming, okay I, we're, we're, we're racking them up you checking a lot of my boxes right bro, now, bro it's just like kind of go with the flow and see what happens mm -hmm. yeah. it usually works out <laughs> Like we're here, this we're beautiful, here, exactly. Bro. You know what we're I'm saying? We're here place. right now. We're, we're here doing right something now. right. <laughs> but the, I mean, so when you look at you know golf and gaming and, and all of that stuff, is it kind of like you you waiting on the next thing? You got stuff that you pushing on for 23. What's the? Yeah, I think it, I think I'm just waiting on the next thing. So the way the way I've been doing it is like uh, just trying to find something I'm super just obsessed with. Yeah. And that's all I want to do. Yeah. And that's what I found with Fortnite. Um, and I was pretty pretty content for like three years. Yeah. In the past th past one and a half, I've been trying to like, like you said, figure out what's next. Just like, explore. Just explore, do a bunch of fun stuff, and uh, yeah, I mean, golf has definitely opened up some doors. I've been playing with some impressive people, you know, like doing a couple collabs here and there. Right. And yeah, I mean, the who collab, knows? The collab thing is interesting, though, bro. You've done mm -hmm. a lot of dope brand collabs mm -hmm. over the, you know. Oh, bro, you've done some some dope. Talk to, talk to me about some of the, the dope collabs you've been doing. Well, so the, the recent one we just got was with Porsche, which is like. So is that how you supposed, to, you supposed to say Porsche? It's Porsche. Damn. Yeah. That's you got to say it right. That's I one, because I ain't been saying it right. <laughs> you got to say it right. I've been though. praying to God for something that I couldn't pronounce. They'll come give a you A lot one. of rappers do that, too, though. True. Yeah, yeah. True. 
But yeah, that one is like, you know, that's like full class. That's crazy, yeah. bro. I mean, the list goes on. I don't want to. No, bore me. Brand too much. Bore me. Brag. You been too humble this well, whole let time. Let me just, the ones that I have currently are like that Xfinity. I'm from Philly too, so it's like, that one's pretty easy. Yep. Um, like Ghost Energy is an yep. energy drink. And then all the time I'm do, doing like just one-offs. Yeah. You know, like we're doing Dunkin' Donuts, Totino's, whatever. Uh, Gillette, State Farm, you know, all kinds of stuff. You feel like you got like a abnormal amount of skill sets for like one human being? <laughs> you ever just like do well, that? Not, like dude. you look in the mirror and just be like, man, I'm good at a lot of stuff, dog. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, that's what I mean, bro. I'm, like I'm good at a lot of stuff. So it's hard to find the one thing that I'm like great at, you know? What's your, what's your process at narrowing it down? Like you just get in there. I don't know, man. Just start digging. Just start, yeah. Well, gaming was like, I don't want to hit that guy. Nah, you could. Gaming was always just, always there my whole life, right? Like since I was four and I was always good at it. Right. So that one was always like back of the mind. I want to go try to be pro. Right. But it wasn't until 20, I guess I was like 23 when I finally found a game that you could do it by yourself. Right, right. So like I said, that one was like, that one was pretty obvious. And next, who knows, man. They're like, being good at a lot of stuff doesn't always translate to monetary value. Yeah. You know? But that's not what it's about, dog. It's like, we not out here just chasing the paycheck. No, I of feel course like not. We, I feel like people like me and you, we chase a good time. Exactly. And then we get paid off of the good time. Yes. We get Which paid is pretty off. freaking lucky. It's rare. Yeah. It's rare. Very it's, lucky. I just had like a little surreal, like deja vu moment right. as I said that. It was kind of some weird yeah. stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean. Well, you, I, gotta, you gotta chase the thing that you love. Yeah, more, more so than monetary, you gotta find the thing that you love. Right. Which is, that's even hard itself. So look, this is what I'm gonna ask you to do. Yep. Uh, I feel like you have a knack for making things work out. Mm -hmm. So as you start making these plans on what's next, just keep me in them. Oh, sure. Because like, bro, I'm I'm like a real utility player, dog. Mm -hmm. Like any voids that you got in your operation, you put me on the team, Hell yeah. that problem not a problem no more. You know what <laughs> I mean? I don't know if you need security, I don't need, need somebody to clean off the consoles or whatever the case. Just like, I think you got a better skill set than cleaning. But just let me start somewhere, yeah, bro. Yeah. Let me work from the ground up, grow oh, with yeah. the organization. You Heck know yeah. what I'm saying? For sure. There's always a spot for you. This is this is a binding agreement that we just made. It's too. on camera. It's all on camera. Yeah. Look, I don't like to let people leave here without gambling for something because uh, right, I, I do have I do have a bit of an addiction. So how hey, about me too, this? Man. You pick the shot. Two shots total. Closest to whatever you want to pick. If you win. Not on my behalf, but on behalf of all these people holding these cameras, uh, okay. you're gonna get Callaway stuff for life. Ooh. You know what I mean? By way, well, you better throw this freaking game, bro. You already have Callaway stuff. No, hey, bro, but if, but if I win. Okay, what do you get? Whatever the porks, the perks of your Porsche partnership. Okay. Like if you, whatever. I I'll take you, you to the drive experience. You there said you what? Go. I'll take you to the drive experience. I want more than that, though. Bro, I can't get you a Porsche. <laughs> bro, well, I mean. But, I can't get myself one. Okay, I'm just saying, though, but like. You know, you could just make it, just set it up, hit your people up, have All your right. people set it up. So every time I touch down in LA, you know, I got four wheels waiting on me. All right. That's easy. 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 That's a quick I phone call. That. Quick yeah, phone yeah. call for me, quick phone, phone call for you. Quick phone call. Okay, so what's the target? Uh, let's go for orange. Let's do it easy. How far How's is it? How's your wedge game? How far is it? I don't know. It's probably, it's probably like 125. Yeah, I feel like you gaming me. 125? Right anybody know? Can anybody confirm or deny that? Got hmm. my range finder anywhere? All right. So look, I'm gonna give you one test shot. Right, I'll give you a we test gonna, shot. We're gonna base it off of that. We're hitting the pitch. We'll see. We'll see what this looks like. Let me see where this come down. This is a test shot. There's no count. What club you hit right there? That's a pitch. So that's probably. I'm thinking. Like I said, I think it's like 125. This is like 120, 130 for me. All right, cool. You go first, dog. All right, bet. It's on. What do you hit then? I'm gonna a hit a gap. I'm gonna hit a little gap wedge. I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. 120. Uh, you bombed it, cut the ball. All right. Also, now he turned it on. A little right spin as well. All right, that's that's 12 feet. Let's see what you got. You got we, two shots, you said? We was kind of getting along up until <laughs> you started hitting. You start, you starting to get a little weird, Nate. <laughs> you gave me a practice shot. Big Man. mistake. Pure. Oh, but it's cutting a little wind to the right. 
we, we see that it's going to the right. We okay. See, okay. Just make all sure right, the camera got so, it. So you want so you want one. Okay. All right. Matter of fact, I'm changing the rules. It's gonna be a best out of three competition. Best out of three. All right. Go ahead. Want we, should we change the shot? Yeah, let's change. Let, no, let's change it. Let's change something. Cause I don't like our. What do you play? A, a fade or a draw? Whatever you. Uh, don't worry about me. You wanna try to play a draw? Okay. I just figured out how to draw like two days ago. I feel like you said me. No, up, let's I swear this. to God, this might not go anywhere. I've been set up by work. Let's try to hit a draw there. All right, draw with the same club. Yeah, it's easier with the shorter ones, I think. I don't believe that at all. Ah, oh, so you pull it a bit when you try to draw it. All right, so you left the door open. And I'm not going to call that a draw either. Yeah, that was a pull. I feel like I keep, every time I do this, I gamble with something from Callaway, and I don't, they never give me the approval to do the things I do. But somehow, like, they still like pay you out, said, though. it just work out. Yeah. It just work out. Yeah. They'll figure it out. All right, baby draw, 125, Roger Steele. So maybe some commentating in your future. That's drawing, dog. See, that's looking good. Sit. That's that's quality golf. All that's right. a good shot. It's a tiebreaker right yeah, here. That, that now, I'm going to give, give you two options. I'm going to give you two options right now. Yeah. We could hit this last shot, win or take all, okay. or we could call it a draw. You set me up with a driving experience. I set you up with some club. I mean, that sounds good to me. You want the draw? Yeah. I mean, it's win-win for both of us, bro. Why not? You a good guy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, man, so look, don't forget, I'm a utility player, dog. Yes, sir. Keep me on the team, man. Always and forever, bro. Always and forever. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah. Kind of unfair for one man to be that good at that many things. But when you find people that are talented, adaptive, and have a knack for making money, you tend to latch on to them. And that's my plan. To all my gamers out there, it ain't no shame in it. But make sure you mixing up that game with some other things. And hopefully that thing is golf. Then, if you genetically gifted enough, maybe you too could one day be a Nate Hill. Or a Nate Mountain Eagle. Yeah, that's kind of deep right there.